Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. This is a requested video on how to make a nightstand with provision for jewelry using a box. And I got a bread maker that had two boxes. It was probably a packaging error, but I'm going to use one of the boxes for the project. I'll start by leaving this flap out and then gluing the remaining flaps inside. In the request, she wanted rose gold, so I got a rose gold spray paint from Walmart. I spray painted the whole box, leaving some parts at the top and at the bottom. To make the box stronger than what it is, I'll be gluing on cake platters around the box on the outside and on the inside as well. Before I go any further, if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. To maintain the balance and the shape of the box, I'm going to be adding wooden dowels that I got from Walmart. I cut these dolls into the size that I'll be needing to put inside the box and I spray painted them rose gold. I'm also going to be adding this leftover PVC strips that I had from another project and I'm going to spray paint them silver and attach them to the middle. The glue is just to keep them in place. So now I'm going to go ahead with nails and a hammer. And I'm going to be using these nails at the top and at the bottom. These are the legs that I'll be using at the bottom and I got them from Hobby Lobby. They were going for $13 and with the coupon it came down to $7. So I spray painted them rose gold and attached them to the bottom. For the front, I'm going to cut a piece from a foam board and spray paint it rose gold and attach it. I'll be attaching Velcro to the top to make it easy for closing and opening. It comes in a pair and I've already attached the second one and I do this to make it easy for me to align it better to the door. I 
I got this tin tiles from Hobby Lobby. So I took out one and it's kind of green. So I turned it to the back and it's silver. So it's the back that I'll be using for the project. Now it had some adhesive there. So I removed it with this and I got it from Michael's craft store. I cut it into a circle that will fit the middle and glued it on. I mixed Mod Podge and rose gold glitter together and applied it at the top. This is what it looked like when it was dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the provision for jewelry. They'll be attached on both sides of the box. To keep it neat, I covered the sides with marble contact paper. I cut pieces from a cake platter to make a little open box. I made two and I attached them to the back with mending plates. And at the front, it was attached with corner braces. For the top, I'm going to be covering it up with this mirror. This is a photo box and I'll be using just the lid for the jewelry. And you can also use the lid of a shoe box. I'll be covering the front with pieces from a cake platter. For the squares that are showing here, I'll be carving them up with foam board. I cut out this foam board to the size that I'll be needing for both sides. And then I'm going to cover them again with pieces from a cake platter. And I'm gluing all of them together. I cut another tiny piece from a cake platter to cover the gap at the bottom. I'll be gluing two foam boards inside the lid for the jewelry. I'm making it thick enough for the cup hook. To make the front strong enough for the cup hook to stay in place, I'll be gluing on the cake platter in front. This is a leftover fabric that I'll use to cover it. These are the cup hooks that I'll use now I'm going to measure and make sure that they are all equally spaced. For the handle, I'll be using the leftover leather. I glued two strips together, folded it, and cut it with a pair of scissors to give a pointed tip. I spray painted it rose gold and then I went ahead and attached this other side here with screws. So I'll be repeating the same thing for this other side. The handles will be decorated with this trim and then the sides of the stand with tin tiles.
You can cut thin lines here to attach smaller jewelry. To complement the nightstand, I'm going to be decorating vases. And this is a white vase that I have that I'm going to spray paint rose gold. Now I'm going to give it an ombre effect. And how to do it is to spray paint the bottom part close to the vase as close as possible. And then the middle part, you take the spray paint slightly away going up. I left the top part white. This is another vase that I have and I'm going to spray paint the entire thing silver. And then give it the same ombre effect like the larger vase. This is how both of the vases look like together. Now I'm going to be applying Mod Podge to the vase and then applying it this way to give it a certain effect after I have the glitter sprinkled on it. After I did this, I left it to dry. I shook off the excess glitter and I applied it just once. And then I took two vases again, plain vases, and I spray painted them silver and created the ombre effect again on them, but without the glitter this time around. This is what all of the vases look like together. I applied the glitter just once so that I don't lose the rose gold color. So if you want more color and more glitter, you add another round of spray paint and an extra layer of glitter. I spray painted a wooden knob silver to add it here, but then I changed my mind because I wanted it to be plain because it's actually easy to open and close this without the knob. I wanted a plain design in front, that's why I left it this way. This is so pretty and because the person who requested this has a low platform for the bed, this fits just perfectly. Now, if you have a higher platform, you're gonna have to just get longer legs to attach it at the bottom. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you so much for watching. There are other DIY videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.